Everywhere you look these days, you see someone talking or texting on a cell phone. What you may not know is when you're seen in public on a cell phone, you've unwittingly become a potential victim for one of the fastest growing crimes in the nation, cell phone theft. Criminals target cell phones in burglaries, robberies, and even violent assaults. Do you ever think that you could become a victim of a crime because you do that? Sure, yeah. Uh, I always think about that. People can just uh, grab my phone as I'm using it. I don't know why people would want to steal someone's cell phone out in the open like that, especially if there's a lock on it. Across the nation, cell phone theft is on the rise. It's becoming such a problem here in Syracuse that police have issued a public advisory. We had one uh, not too long ago down in Armory Square where a person was knocked to the ground and their phone was taken and then the suspects took off. We've seen a few of those. Cell phones can be valuable to a thief in a couple of ways. First of all, they can be easily resold for a couple of hundred bucks, but they also contain information that can be used for identity theft. They're able to steal these phones and still sell them for over $100 and make quick money on it. So, so there's a market out there, there's a black market out there for these phones. So police have offered some valuable tips for cell phone owners. If your phone has GPS tracking capability, make sure it's enabled so police can find it if it's stolen. Make sure your phone is password protected. Record the phone's serial number and keep it in a safe location. There's the GPS app for the iPhone. Uh -huh. And also, like, I try to change my password frequently. You do? Just in case someone gets a hold of it. Syracuse police are calling upon local cell phone stores to make sure that they're not being used as fences for stolen phones by confirming that the person who wants a phone activated is the actual owner.